But here's the thing about ugly. Is what, so what, what makes a uniform handsome? Why is the Cowboys uniform considered handsome? Well, it's all very individual, I suppose. It's just your taste. Cultural norms. Yeah, I think, yeah, I do too. I, I think it is taste, but I also think it's, and I'm going to go deep here, deep psychology with Dr. Dawson. Don't you think that the uniform that you grew up with that had success, that you think that that's a good uniform? And so the Don't next you thing you know, look at, look at what we... the hell I I know I say this all the time but I promise y'all I was not gonna go live today I, I really wasn't I, I needed a break but I, you know how you feel but what, what, let me here we go guys Tuesday, one down, uh, one to go, Thanksgiving coming up. Um, you know how you feel when you're at a car dealership? You know exactly what kind of car you want before you get there. It's like when my wife and I, we, you know, she had the wreck and, you know, um, she wanted the uh, all new Chevy Blazer. Y'all the one all blacked out with the rims and every factory rims and all that shit, you know, fully loaded. We know exactly what kind of car we want. But they still hold you there. Make you wait. You gotta go through all that paperwork and bullshit, you know. Try to sell you something else. Well, how about y'all get some of this? Won't y'all get one of these, you know? That's how I felt listening to Jerry Jones this morning. And he claimed how frustrated he is. I don't even know why. It's, you, you know what guys, it's really getting old. Like it's really getting old. This is why I say it's hard being a Cowboy fan because it is really, really getting old. Like, come on, man. You, you <laughs> Special teams coach should be fired. Garrett should be gone. What's taking so long, man? It's been 10 years plus of the same BS. I promise you. Garrett, I say, hey, man, you know what? It's been fun, but we, we got to part ways from here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I even, I listened to Shannon Sharp and Skip this morning. They was, they was talking about the Cowboys. And, 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 and the Dallas Cowboys, once again, we're still practicing indoors. <laughs> That's a luxury. Practicing indoors is a luxury. We just lost. We just lost a game that we sh another game that we should have won. And they get rewarded by practicing indoors. What are you doing? What is this? Is this for, you know what? I keep cutting myself out because every new shit keep coming in my head. It's just, it's so much. I was watching the game last night. Who was that? Baltimore and um, the Rams. I was watching Baltimore and the Rams. And the game was so exciting. Even though it was a blowout, but the Rams, they, they wanted to win. They got out there. And they blew them out early. They... They were on the sidelines playing around because they were up by a million points. I don't know how that feels. 
I wonder how that feels to, to, to actually win a game in the second half, I mean the second quarter, and to know that there's no chance that the other team can come back. How does that feel? But yet, we got to we gotta sit up here and deal with bullshit coaching, not scoring until the second half, not really get into a rhythm until the second half. It blows my mind on so many levels. But yet, we get on here as Dallas Cowboy fans, and we argue and fight amongst each other. And watch my channel. Don't watch his. Look what we fighting about. Don't make no damn sense. Garrett is still an employee of the Dallas Cowboys. What are you doing, man? We lost against the, 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 the Jets. That should have been enough right there. Get this man out of here. He's no good for the Dallas Cowboys. No good for us. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't like to lose. Maybe they like to lose. It's, we got all this talent, man. We got all this damn talent. And we don't know what to do with it. We can't win games. We can't do right. <laughs> oh, God damn. This is embarrassing. And he said, I... they asked him if they were going to be any coaching changes before the season is out. And he, I'm getting lightheaded. I, I can't take this no more. He said, no. Why not? Guys, I, it, this ain't football. This ain't cowboy football no more, man. I'm serious, dog. I don't even care about Thanksgiving uh, game. I, I, I'm serious. I don't. I don't. Call me a bandwagon fan. Call me what you want. I don't. I really don't give a damn what people got to say on the damn internet. I, I really don't. I really don't care how people feel. But I'm just so pissed. I'm so disappointed. Once again, y'all, y'all know my story. You know how when you fuck up in class or, or you do something bad and, and you know your parents going to whoop your ass when you get home. You you know it back in the day. I don't know about now, but back in the day. And you get home. You already ready for a, a tongue lashing. You ready to get cussed out. And you ready to get an ass whooping. You ready to get all your electronics and video games and shit taken away from you. And as soon as you get home and look your parents in the face, they say, just get out of my face. I, I'm, I don't even want to look at you. Just get out of my face. You're like, okay. You know what I mean? Like, they just they that disappointed in you to where you don't even want to, they don't even want to be bothered with you. Just get out of my sight. That was even worse than getting a whooping. Like, <laughs> where, where, where have we gone? What are we doing? I don't even know what to say in this live stream. That's why I'm just like, why am I even live? Why am I wasting my time? It's frustrating. It don't make sense. It does not make sense, man. We got the bills coming up to, uh, uh, on Thursday. Nationwide game. We might lose that game. We, we <laughs> they, they don't care. And he says, I'm frustrated. This is the frustrated I've ever been. You know, I, I just, I'm, I'm up to here with frustration. That's what Jerry said. Really? How frustrated are you? But you're not frustrated enough to fire anybody. But, but you know what the problem is. You created this monster. You need to fire yourself. Like, you need to give up all rights to the Cowboys and just give it to somebody, sell the team, give it to somebody else. Because it don't make sense. Why we can't win these games that... We should have won against New England. We should have won against uh, the damn uh, 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 Saints. We should have won against the Jets. We should have won against uh, the damn Vikings. Green Bay, okay. You know, we probably could have won that one too because we were coming back. But it just, it 
don't make sense, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I, I, I don't know how to feel and what to think right now. The leader of this organization says he's frustrated, but he's done nothing about it. I'm just, I, I had to stop. I had to go silence real quick. I had to go, you know, when you, you, you when you get that frustrated, you just gotta, you gotta calm down. I just, I just had to touch, just, I just had to do that. I'm, I'm just, it, it, this has to be the dumbest organization, man. I'm sorry, they just don't. But last, like, like, speaking of, you know, like, like I was saying last night, I was watching that game and them guys were making plays. The defensive backs were getting interceptions. They were tackling, they were wrapping up, they were going after the ball. They were doing exactly what they were supposed to do to win that game. And it was just, and I look, I, I got, you got to look at other teams just to see. I'm just like, wow, we have no chance. Even if we went out, we have no chance. We don't have a chance. We might as well quit now. Just throw in the damn towel. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm just... <laughs> I fought for this organization for almost 40 years, man. Like, seriously. Like, I be, I was born into being a Cowboy fan. I had no choice. And I, I, I was there in the 80s. I, I was there in the 90s. Uh, I, I was there in the Herschel Walker trade and, and all that. Um, I was there in the, the, the dominating 90s. I saw I saw greatness and perfection. I saw perfect perfection then. The guys that wanted to win. They threw it take them took the win. I saw guys get fired because they fumbled the ball twice. I saw guys get fired because they couldn't pass the run test in training camp. That was back in the day when they practiced outside, y'all know. But they get rewarded. Now, state-of-the-art facility, they don't need to be there. They need to be outside, on the gravel, with grass with patches and shit, rock patches and shit in it. And they need to be out there practicing. That's what's wrong with this team. They were talking about this morning how uh, what, the reason why they practice indoors is because of little things that they have going on, like you know, meet the fan night and all that shit. Fans get to come and you know watch the players practice indoors and state of the art facility and all that stuff. And they have like weekly drawings and stuff. All that shit. You see what I'm saying? Blows my mind, man. Blows my mind, man. So we're already set up to fail. Because it starts with the coaching and ownership. If you don't have good coaching and ownership, no matter what kind of talent you got, you're gonna fail. You can have the answers to the damn. You can have the answers to the damn test and still fail. You can have the answers to the damn test. You you, you look you know, and you still fail because of lack of ownership. And nobody wants to be the blame. And like I said yesterday, poor poor Dak. He hey, I take the blame on this one. I got it. I will take the bullet. Bless his heart. But none of them motherfuckers that's in charge don't want to take the blame. I'd rather, if Jerry came out today and said, hey, y'all, you, you know what, man? 
Hey, hey, I'm going to lay it down on the line, man. And let me be honest with all the Cowboy fans out there. I fucked up. After Jimmy, I fucked up. I've been fucking up all these years. All I think about is money. All I think about is the mighty dollar. I don't care about none of y'all. All I, all I care about is to fill up seats. That's it. I got little coaches here and there, you know, little yes men and all that stuff. I really didn't want a real coach because I wanted the credit for everything. Just man up. Just go ahead and man up. I, I'd rather somebody just, just go ahead and take, just tell me. Like, you know what? I don't care, man. You know, I you know, I I, I get just good enough talent, so we'll be eight and eight, and you know, maybe, maybe. 12 and 4 or something like that, you know. But the, the next season, I make sure everything kind of goes back down here just to keep stringing y'all along like puppets. I, I'd rather you just man up. Just man up. But yeah, they ain't going to do that, though. That's too much like right. It's just like somebody telling you to come on in and work. Hey, man, I'm going to pay you this much money. If you come do this job for me, dog, I'm going to pay you this much money, man. You know what I'm saying? Just come on, do it real quick. And then after the fact, you do all this work. And then, hey, you know what, man? I forgot the money, dog. You're like, what? wait a minute. What the fuck? I did all that work, man, and you ain't going to pay me? Oh, no, man. Something, something got to give. That, that shit like that gets, gets somebody's asses, asses whipped, man. I'm telling you. It, it, it surely, that evil soul exists here. Because we ain't won nothing since. What are you doing, man? What, you know what, what, what I don't understand is, what's the harm in winning? Why is winning so hard? Why is winning a bad thing? Winning is a bad thing here. It is. It's bad. It, it must be. It's been 25 years. So that must be bad. We must be all wrong. We're wrong to win. We're wrong to make videos about the Cowboys. We're wrong to support all that shit. We're, we're all wrong. Winning is bad here. Because <laughs> they damn sure don't want to do it. They want to lead up. I heard them talking this morning too. They here in here in the Metroplex. They want to try to say that um, Jimmy Johnson uh, walked out. No, 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 no. That ain't the way it went down. Trust and believe. That ain't the way it went down. He won two Super Bowls. Now you fired him. You was mad because Jimmy Johnson wouldn't turn over this team to you. Wouldn't give you that right, that pull. That's what that's why he that's why you fired. But they fired Jimmy though. And they keeping Gary. How does that make sense? But it makes sense when you're a billionaire. When you're a billionaire, everything makes sense. Ain't nothing hard. When something go wrong, oh, I'm good. If, if, for example, if one of y'all on in the comment section, if one of y'all on the way to work and your car break down, I guarantee you you're gonna be pissed off. You're gonna be like, fuck, how the hell am I gonna get to work? How am I gonna get to work? My car broke down, I, I gotta get a rental car, I gotta put this car in the shop, I gotta spend money I don't have, all this shit, I gotta get an Uber, something. Your whole life changes. Your whole life. Until you, you know, you get out of that situation. Jerry, I know. <laughs> no, he good. 
So with that being said, as an example, when they lose, they good, man. They don't give a fuck. They take this game that we passionate about. They take this game that we passionate about. And, and some, of, some of us, that's all we got is sports to depend on. And they flip it around and use it as a cash grab. Make us think, oh, we got a good team. We got a good, we're supporting a good team for our city. We're supporting, hell, even people that live in out of the state. We're supporting the Dallas Cowboys. We're supporting that brand. Oh, let's win a little bit here. Oh, no, 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 let's lose this game. No, 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 let's win this game. Oh, no, 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 let's lose this game. Let's keep them, you know, right here, balance at bank. As soon as the playoffs come, let's rip their hearts out. That's why I'm that's why I'm talking shit right now. Because it don't make sense. We all about winning, man. Cowboys, cowboy fans, don't ask, ask, ask one cowboy fan if they rather lose. They would get on here and waste time and lose. people so passionate about the Cowboys that they literally waste their own damn time, waste their time and brain power and fight amongst each other on the internet. That's how passionate the Cowboy fans are. They ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> but yet, look what we get in results. Look, look, look at the results we get. Look at the results we get. Now, if we were winning Super Bowls, you know, we got five, but we were winning six, seven, eight Super Bowls, then I could probably understand. But we losing, we got people fighting amongst each other. Maybe that's why. And that, that's why I hate when Cowboys lose and everybody turn on each other. We got all this talent, man. And we don't know what to do with it. If you don't see that Garrett ain't the problem, something's wrong. It don't make sense. They get paid too much money to lose. We got Amari Cooper, one of the best receivers in the league. We got Dak Prescott is developing, developing into one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Developing. We got Ezekiel Elliott, who's still arguably the best running back in the league. You, you got defensive game plan and a whole scheme around Zeke. Now they game plan a whole scheme around Dak. We got weapons all over the place. Still got a pretty good offensive line. Defense, huh? At times they're okay. At times they, they, they're garbage. But manageable. And we're six and five. We got the number one ranked defense. I mean, uh, offense. And we're six and five. That's coaching, man. Every game we've lost has been close. That's coaching, man. It don't make sense. Don't make sense. My wife, uh, she bought me a plaque, a little Dallas Cowboy plaque, uh, to go up on the wall. And I, 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 I couldn't say nothing but thank you because, I, you know, she bought it for me, I, you know. But I, I kind of looked at it like, 
I really didn't want you to buy this, but you know, she was thinking about it, you know, and I appreciated it. But it's hard, man. It's it's hard. Why does everything gotta be Get boys for life? Appreciate you coming in, man. Good point. But I'ma reverse it. Why does everything with the Cowboys gotta be if? Every time you bring up the Cowboys, the word if is in the damn sentence. Is in the equation somewhere. Well, man, if we, what's thing about the game last night? Well, if we woulda, well, man, if, if so-and-so, well, if we woulda went through it on, went for it on fourth and seven, well, if, if, well, if we had better coaching, well, if it, why? Why? Why can't it just be? Why has it gotta be if? Even Jason Garrett get on the damn panel. Well, if, if we'd have played better, you know, if, 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 count how many times, watch a damn press conference. And, and I guarantee you're going to hear if 20 times. If. The New England Patriots, oh, we did it. We won. It was a rough game, but we won. We won. Yeah, the weather was bad, you know. Uh, Cowboys, they, they put up a good fight, you know, but, uh, you know, we won. Yeah, the ball was slick, you know, but we adjusted to it. I put a glove on, you know, in pregame warm, warm up, you know. Defense can held together, and, you know, we uh, we, we, we held them to nine points. They didn't score. They, they All they had was nine points. They kicked field goals, you know. We, we forced them to make mistakes. <clears throat> we, uh, we, uh, we, we forced turnovers. We forced them to... Uh, get penalties. Y'all didn't hear if one time. <laughs> Everything I just said about the Patriots winning, y'all didn't hear the word if. But 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 talk about the Cowboys. Just go out in the world. Go out in the world with somebody that's a Cowboy fan and, and, and start a conversation with them. I guarantee you, you're gonna say if. Well, if they, they would have called that penalty, what, if, well, if, why we got to be in a position to depend on penalties? Just, I, I heard it earlier. Um, now that the game is over with, the NFL came to an agreement that they shouldn't have called those. Yeah, after the fact, y'all ain't going to go back and, and win. It ain't going to be no rematch. Y'all ain't going to do nothing about it. It's over with. After the fact, just like the Dez Bryant kids, four years later, yeah, you know what? <laughs> well, Dez caught it. What? Man, all the man, you cost us probably a Super Bowl. This video should have been the title of this video should have been well if, well if, well if dot dot dot. <laughs> I'm gonna get a cowboy. I'm gonna have Mike Mosh. I'm gonna have Mike Mosh make me a cowboy jersey. It's gonna say if on the back of it. Well, if. <laughs> Mike Mosh, the king of live stream. The man with the master plan gets you any jersey. Any jersey you want. I'm gonna have him put well if on the back of it. <laughs> Don't make sense. If <laughs> there you are, right there. He said it. Well, if let's see what they're gonna say, y'all. Uh, let's see what they're 
Let's see what they, Montana, what's up, man? Let's see what they're going to say after the Bills game. Well, if. Dak Prescott. It, it, the main word in his is if, you know, if we would have played better, you know, uh, well, if we would have played better, you know, uh, if I would have, you know, completed some passes and been a little bit more accurate, if I would have, you know, you know, if, Well, you know, well, if Dez would have caught it, you know, uh, you know, we would have. <laughs> if that word to get you killed, I, you know, I go to work for a living, you know, and I, I, I decide to quit my job. You know, uh, my kids hungry; they got to eat. They wondering where the next meal gonna come from. And my wife would, and I tell my wife, well, if, you know, if, if they would have been, you know, I would, I, you know, I just didn't, like, what? The fuck? I, I just, um, it's tough being a Cowboy fan. I, I'm just going to put it out there. Um, you know, I'm never going to stop. I, I, it's just in me to support this team. But you kick a dog too many times, they're gonna bite you back. And uh, the Cowboys got to figure something out. They, they got to figure something out. They just got to do it. They get paid too much money not to. Don't make sense. You got a lot of respectful fans out there a lot of respectful youtubers out there mike mosh one of them cowboys for life q childs everybody in the chat cowboys family my round table crew you got log nation you got you know shango the king the goat shango inspired me to do videos he, start, he, he inspired me to start back doing because I, I had a channel a long time ago back in back in 07 and I you know started having kids and stuff and couldn't really put too much focus on it and I wouldn't really you know I didn't have the technology then so um you know I really started back up you know back in 12 9 10 11 12 around that time and um, you know Shango kind of I was like, man, I could do that too, you know. I love the Cowboys. I want to, you know, express my emotions and feeling about them. And, uh, so I started, you know, and I, uh, when I started, I noticed, you know, anybody get on here and talk stats and stuff like that. So I started really putting different characters and, you know, just putting really skill into my videos. I, I don't I don't do that do that as much now. I don't have the time. But uh to help my channel grow. And uh it grew, it's still growing, you know. And uh, you, know, you got a lot of people in, you know in, as well as myself. Shit. Uh, look at South of Heaven. He's been he's one of the pioneers too. And these guys, we, we, shit, die hard. Die hard, man. And it, 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 it pains me. It pains me to see it, it, all this die hard. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it's going to waste, but I, we would like something back in return. You know what I mean? <laughs> Reimburse, you know, win. I, we're not asking for money back. You know, we got, you know, jerseys and shirts and all that stuff. Just win. That, that's that's more than enough but you know it is what it is you know but i just thought i'd get a little something off my chest i'm about to get off man um i just had to get a little something off my chest you know trying to vent a little bit you know and i appreciate y'all taking time out of your day and uh you know it's because y'all don't have to listen you know so but I, I appreciate it because without y'all, you know, I'd be, you know, talking to myself, you know, so. <laughs> uh, appreciate it, Robbie. Yeah, but everybody in the chat, man. Q, Thomas Garrett. Uh, shit. 
everybody, man. Everybody that came in. I can't look at every name, but I, I, I appreciate it, man. But I, I'm, I'm gonna get off right now, you know. Cool off a little bit, because <laughs> that when I heard what I heard, it just that sent me in another direction, another dimension, damn near. Uh, but bless everybody in the chat, man. <laughs> Make sure you stay cowboyed up. Abroad, yeah, abroad too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dwayne, these are diehard people, man. They've followed me for a long time. Long time. That's listening to me run my, my mouth. If I was right or wrong, still listen to me run my mouth. So these are diehard people, man. Cowboys abroad. Cute childs, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I'm about to get off here, man. I'm tired. I got to get ready for Thanksgiving, man. So I, I'll, I'll go. I'll do the same low live during the game, you know, uh, halftime spill and after the game, you know. So it is what it is, man. But uh, make sure y'all stay cowboyed up and prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. I'll back it. I'm out.